Oh, styrofoam. Ah! Here's the cup. Whew. Hi, everybody. I'm Marnie. I'm a folk artist and illustrator, and today I wanted to share with you one of my works in progress for a recent painting I did. This painting is a technique that I usually use when I'm making commissioned portraits for my clients. I'm using watercolor. I do not know what kind. It was a gift from a friend. This this uh, palette, 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 palette. I don't know. I usually use Aquarelle Arches watercolor blocks in rough texture. And so if you're looking for this, it comes in an orange covered block. I love it. I don't like using anything else. Arches on the way. Whenever I start a watercolor, I always go from the lightest to the darkest shades of paint. As you can see, I'm filling in the skin on her face and arms and the flamingo as well. When you do this, the lighter shades are acting as your highlight and the darker shades are your shade and shadow and it rounds out the objects, giving it more depth. I've gotten this question from a lot of people before. How do you make your lines so crisp and sharp? And maybe you can see as I'm painting, I'm going over an area and leaving it. When I come back to it, I know it's completely dry before I add any more details. So instead of a traditional watercolor technique which bleeds together and can look kind of foggy or dreamy, I prefer to see where an object begins and ends and this way all my lines are sharp. This painting is actually for my Grammy. She's 85 this weekend. She's a huge supporter of my work and I really wanted to make her something that would make her smile. All these things remind me of her. She has a fun and funky style. She likes to wear platform shoes and Hawaiian style shirts and she's got cute short hair. She's obsessed with Disney so I added Epcot and some mouse ears. She lives in Florida so there's orange blossoms, palm trees, and a flamingo. And she's actually from New York so I added a state bird which is the bluebird and state flower which is a rose. And of course I had to add a pocketbook brimming with dollar bills because her favorite hobby is shopping. Even though the structure of these commissioned portraits are pretty similar, I go into detail about things such as where you're from, and I'll represent that symbolically with birds or flowers or flags. What do you like to wear? What are your favorite colors? What are some of your favorite hobbies? And all of these elements give it a very individualized flair. These portraits are great to give as gifts. I've painted them for anniversaries, for weddings, for babies, for birthdays, with one, two, or three or more people, even with pets. It's really fun to make these special to each individual. Well, that's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed painting it. I wanted to thank you so much for your support, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook, Tumblr or Patreon. Your likes and follows and subscriptions and encouragement means so much to me. Thanks so much for watching.